the question. Uh, go ahead again. Oh, we can see about uh, 6,000 kilometers uh, around us. So when we look down, we have a radius of about 6,000 kilometers, and then around us we see space. So, so uh, when it's night, we do see a lot of uh, a lot of stars, a lot of uh, uh, well, stars. We see the planets, uh, and the peaks, uh, uh, you know, over over ground, we see cities and uh, uh, human-made structures. And during the day, we see everything. It's really, really, really amazing. Over. I don't know when you, where you read that, but, but it is not. Uh, the temperature on the ISS varies between 19 and 25 degrees or so. Uh, and uh, we maintain it so that it's comfortable for us. And it's about uh, uh, the temperature that, you know, that keeps us in the short space. Over. Well, if I cut myself uh, very, uh, you know, for a small cut, just use a band-aid. We have a pharmacy up here, and if it's really bad, and uh, we have a um, system, we have a way to uh, suture it in many different ways, fast ways, permanent ways, and so on. Over. Well, the same things that I do on the ground. I try to read or listen to music if I can, and if there's really nothing else to do, and I really have to sleep and get up early, I'll take some sleeping meds. Over. We get to choose our own music because um, from the ground they uh, they can upload it uh, to the into the system and we have up here we have uh, uh, we have computers that can uh, keep it in the memory and then we just uh, pick our music and listen to it while we work out or do activities over. Oh, we do a lot of things for fun. We uh, we. We play, like we, uh, first of all, floating is already a lot of fun. We also listen to music, we play to music, we can play board games, uh, we can uh, look outside the window and look for targets, uh, watch TV, listen to music, watch movies, reading, you name it. We have a lot of ways. Over. Oh, man. I don't, I don't have one favorite thing, but I have many favorite things, but which make up life. It's living in space that really attracts me here. Uh, working, uh, working here, uh, exercising, doing science, doing maintenance, doing spacewalks, coming up here, landing, all these things together, it's what makes space so fascinating. It's the exploration of the limits. Over. We, we use two different kinds of spacesuit, one for uh, coming up and down from the space station and the other one for uh, spacewalks. They are very different from each other and they are, I wouldn't say that they are comfortable, but they are very useful, so uh, we, we just make do. Over. I don't know, what do you mean by difficult? Uh, anything can be difficult. And usually if something is interesting is also difficult. I have, I have very little experience in things that are easy and interesting at the same time. I don't usually consider things difficult. I consider them a challenge and uh, I try to uh, respond to every challenge by overcoming it. Over. Well, Natasha, if we had ice cream, we would certainly eat it. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Over. Well, tonight I have to, to have dinner with some specific food that was uh, selected for me uh, for an experiment. So I think that I have a small steak, a lot, uh, some nuts and uh, vegetables. I think I have broccoli, cheese and cauliflower au gratin. Over. Hello. Uh, we, we share the same name. Um, uh, well, I don't have a preference, you know, I, there are two very different moments. When you're taking off, it means you're coming up and you're starting your adventure, so it's very exciting. 
Okay, when you're landing, you're ending your adventure, and you're starting another. You're going home to your friends and family. So it's exciting for a different way. Over. You know, it's hard to pick one thing, but if I really had to, I would say it's human contact, human touch. Uh, and specifically, I'm thinking about my daughters. I really miss them. I really miss hugging them, playing with them, and uh, feeling them. So uh, that, that's probably the thing that I can really not get enough of. Over. Absolutely, we see them all the time and they are really fascinating, especially at night when you, all you see is these uh, huge clouds with the light uh, coming out. Of course, we don't hear the thunder, but we do see the lightning. Over. So if you're on a spacewalk and you start to drift away, we have a system called SAFER uh, that uh, will let us fly ourselves back to the ISS and we train for it in virtual reality. Over. The same thing that we do on Earth, we try to get better. We have a small pharmacy up here uh, that we can use for medication and uh, we also have antibiotics and all kinds of, of sorts of things that uh, we can call our doctor and uh, learn how to use them so that we can get better. If something is really, really bad, well, we can always come back to Earth in about six hours' time. Over. It feels like you are really, really heavy because you're just not used to any weight because for six months or more you've been living in weightlessness and when you get back to Earth all that weight that you, that you carry in your body gets on you and it, it's, really, it's really heavy somehow. Over. Hello Mila. Earth looks like the most wonderful planet that exists in the universe. It's the only one that we know and it's really, really beautiful. It's, it's blue with water, it's white with clouds and snow, it's brown with land and green with grass and forests. And all the colors melt one into the other creating a, a amazing shapes that are indescribable. And if I, was, if I was from a different planet and came around orbit and found planet Earth, I would really want to come back down and try to feel the sand, touch the grass, smell the wind, and, uh, and jump in the sea and feel the snow and feel all the things that I can see from up here. Over. Farewell, Bravo Papa Quebec. Thank you so much for your questions and for all your, for all your time. Uh, stay curious. Keep exploring and all the best.